Peace squad, welcome back to the course, building a digital marketing directory website, AKA a Thumbtack clone. In this video, we're gonna go over the design of the marketer detail view. So in our previous video, we went over the list view, but what happens when you actually click into one of our marketers? So you also need to model this page. That's what we're gonna cover in this video. Okay, so if you notice the top row is the same, I'm not gonna go over the header row again. Um, so we have that same header row. If you notice, instead of there being um, a filter or an element on the left this time, instead we have this like scrolling box. So we still have this space that we would need between here. But then when we get to our middle section here, instead of us having a list of cards, we have details about the marketer. Okay, so we still have, we have the image here. We have the name of the marketing agency. Um, we have, again, if they have a badge of exceptional, that's gonna flash there. It's gonna have their rating and then the detail, uh, sorry, the count of the number of reviews they've gotten. If they have a badge of top pro, it would appear there. Um, they have this share button, so we'll need a BTN there. Um, so, so far we'll need a BTN here. We'll need, uh, let's see, some type of icon here. Um, let's see, okay. These are called breadcrumbs. So we know we have a trail from basically our domain to the category, to the agency. So in this case, this would be like lemon squeeze uh, and then marketing. And then if it were lemon squeeze marketing, it'd be lemon squeeze marketing here. But let's say it's other marketing agencies that they are going to have in um, their directory. That would be their OK introduction. So this is like their headliner. Um, so they have like basically um, probably like a short description of the bio and then the option to read more. And then it'll probably show you the full bio. And I'm sure there's a read. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be less. Okay. Okay. And then in the next section, what we have, so you have an overview. So you have all their, their badges that we saw over on the other page uh, where they serve. Okay. If their background check, the number of employees, the years in business. So we have icons and text right here. So probably this is like a little box of sorts. And then this is just like a list of the, um, the different features that they want to put for the overview. Okay, payment method. Um, so they have, yeah, so there's like a, so we basically have like a title and then like some paragraph text here, social media, and then there's a link out to their social media. Um, we have some BTNs here. So we have the message BTN and the request BTN. And if you notice, you can even see where there's like kind of like a little divider. There's like, like a little, almost like a great, um, divider there. So I think all this is in its same section. Now if we click into these, so this looks like this is probably one of those things like a tab where you can like have it um, go to different places on the page. Like if I go to photos, it goes to this, but it's still on the same page. Uh, and then if I go to reviews, it takes me to the reviews section. Um, I really like this design. If you go to credentials, it goes to the credential section. And then if we do frequently asked questions, it takes us to the frequently asked questions section. OK, so those buttons up there are just taking us to different sections on the page. So we covered. We covered here, we covered up to here, right? So we have our message BTN and then we have our request BTNs. Um, curious to see yeah this is probably its own section and it's probably divided um so you probably have like six columns here six columns here um i think they probably put this as it's just one big div probably and then the div is probably yeah they probably put this as one one div but we'll see all right so the next section is the featured projects um you can also get there from the photos okay so this is their featured product so we know we need a section right here um where in the future um if we allow that functionality our developers can or sorry our marketers um can upload their projects let's just click into one okay so this has some information like a photo i guess um it has the job type the location the cost the duration and the year okay 
So lead, website and lead generation. All right, so this is one project. So cool. I like that that's pretty simple. So simple enough, you have like uh, little projects, you could put photos and then just have like an explanation of what this is. So that was, that was pretty cool. Um, honestly, I feel like that'd be great. I can actually see the person's like portfolio of like, you know, the work that they've done. I think that's really cool. All right, so you have the reviews. All right, you have your little disclaimer right here. Um, if they have a badge that's there, the total number of reviews is right under there. Um, and then we have basically where um, our little metric and where they where they fall. So that's five stars. So customer says, so I'm assuming there's like a review section or like a reviews did. There's like a featured project section. And then now we're at, okay, so we have this like gray box here that has what customers say. And then you have another, you have a search box and then you have a drop down menu. So search box, it's like you can search through the reviews and then you can also kind of like drop down and choose the order. So basically this is gonna put like how uh, the reviews are ordered. So this looks like this is now a list, right? So this is the list of reviews. So for each like LI or each item in the list, they have like the icon of the reviewer, the name of, let's see, Thumbtack customer. Okay, whether it's a Thumbtack customer or not, the actual review, the source, um, do, 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 do. Okay, and then that, and then their reply and the date that it was. Okay, so, so these are all, let me see. Okay, so how many reviews did they actually do? One, two, three, four, probably five of them. Five, yeah, exactly. So it's like some type of pagination here. So after the fifth one, you can like paginate and go to the next one so that you don't have like a just ton of reviews taking up the whole page okay credentials we know we can we got here too from clicking up at top so it tells them tells us like his uh his background check let me see what this does let's click into this real quick all right so this is like some type of like pop out model or something like that um shows when it was completed his name the fact that he was background checked and then we have our frequently asked questions section. Um, yeah, so we have basically like the a list of like frequently asked questions and they have their own little div. Cool, and then we also have our footer. Now on, the, on this like right side, almost like this little scrolling box, this is where we would go to actually uh, start the, the workflow of booking them. So, I actually do this. So let's put like, I'll, I'll use his zip code um, types. Let's say that I want uh, strategic counseling or consulting, sorry. Um, and marketing types. Let's say that I want, um, let's say that I want search engine optimization. I'm surprised I don't have web traffic here. Oh, it's just a marketing type, got it. Um, and then my industry, uh, let's say sales and marketing, right? So this is, right now, don't worry about the functionality. Uh, I'm just looking at the box. In fact, I'm gonna cut this at this point. This is good and plenty. So this is, these are the features, uh, these are the elements that we'll need for the detail view. So that each time when um, we click from the list of developer, or sorry, marketers uh, to an individual marketer, this is what their uh, profile should look like. So those are the two um, pages so far that we've gone over. The next page that we'll go over in the next video is gonna be basically the landing page. Um, the pages that we've gone over so far is our actual directory, but we need to also get like some of it, some of an optimized like design page. So in the next video, we'll actually go through um, this landing page, right? Make sure you guys uh, stay tuned, come back, uh, like, 